these soldiers of our once fallen empire. By the thrust of your blades, our ancient Zenoira shall be birthed anew upon Fevrith soil. Today, we restore this land to its rightful rulers. <coughs> now then, the hour has come. And so too shall victory, once the sigil is complete and this realm merged with the beyond. Defend the castle at any cost, and deliver salvation unto the people of Zenoira! <laughs> is at hand. You've need of my wisdom. Let devotion shine through. We march. Order must be preserved. Your orders? Very well. I rise to any challenge. <laughs> Fay shall guide me. Time to act. Moving out. Come then! I have you. Allow me to aid you. Allow me. A brisk flight. The time is at hand. The path is set. We march. We shall never yield! rise to any challenge. Very well. Falling back then. You face me. The hour of reckoning is soon at hand, and none shall deny my people their glory. So come if you wish, powerless fools. Meet your demise before the acts of Galerius, almighty emperor of your meager world! You've crushed a continent beneath your heel, oppressed its people, trampled its fields, 
Yet still you claim to deserve its crown. It ends today, Galerius. Now perish in the light of Febrith Pure. With me. You'll not break me. Better heal up. Rise and perish. Don't let it happen again. To shred! Huh? Not finished yet. The rock shot. I could never. Purging the ill humors. Have you need of my skill? <sighs> Time to act. I'll do as I must. Plan. I have you.
their soul. There's no escape. I shall have them. Not finished yet. Don't let it happen again. To shreds with you. shall take me. <sighs> the time is at hand. Onward. Now then. We march. March. To me. Defeat will soon be upon. as one. Have you need of my skill? Thanks. <clears throat> the path is set. Your villainy ends here. I have you. With me! <sighs> By the darkest! <sighs> Better heal. The rock! I'll cleanse your... Impressive. Not finished yet. Twist. Don't let it happen again. You're mine. All for naught. Let it be done. Cower in fear. I could never... There's no escape. Farewell! I'll cut you in two! Not bad. I'll not be a Not here. I'll not let pride cloud my judgment. My legs grow heavy. A mere moment is all I need. Galerius, Emperor of Zenoira. Your ambitions are laid bare, and your empire in ruin. <laughs> If you hope to speak, you'll find me no willing participant. I have no words for you. And this, now. Galerius, you saw in Fevreth's innocent people mere vessels to house your own fallen empire. But as long as I live and breathe, you'll never inflict such callous devastation on our world. 
How do you know of that? Piteous ghost of an age long past. I shall grant your soul the freedom it desires. You will not! On your guard, Elaine. My brethren were robbed of their corporeal flesh, left to wander in the void of nothingness for 800 years. Their pain is my strength, and my body, their fury given form. While the souls of Zenoira remain trapped in the beyond, their emperor shall never know <laughs> defeat. Your majesty. Baltro! How goes the right? Flawlessly. We lack but a single soul to complete the spell. Then these insects shall be more than enough. Grant me your strength, and we'll stamp them out together. Deluded cravens, the both of you! What do you think you're doing? Apologies if I wasn't clear, Your Majesty. The last soul the sigil seeks is none other than yours. Traitorous fool. Finally gone senile. Mm. Is that you, Mother? Your Majesty. But how? Mother! I don't know how, but she's perfectly fine. Speak to me, please. You fought valiantly, Lydia. But this battle has reached its conclusion. You're wrong. And I shall have your head for thinking otherwise. <laughs> Your hubris was the end of you, Valmar. What sorcery is this? Do you see now the futility of your struggle? By cutting me down, you have doomed yourself to a life reborn as my new vessel. Madness. How does Valmor yet live? He doesn't. The man was a simple human, undeserving of the glorious soul of an emperor. Name yourself at once! I am Baltro, sorcerer of the great and storied Zenoran Empire. The very empire whose armor was passed through Valmor's family for generations on end. And it was I who bound our Emperor's soul to that armor. I can't move. So it's true. The Cornian royal family bears the blood of the Maiden. No matter. Your feeble flesh shall now play host to Galerius, ruler of all creation. I never imagined he possessed such frightful mastery over the bodies of others. Elaine, I can't say how much time has passed since that day, but you've grown so much. If only I could have been there to witness it. It seems I owe Joseph a great deal for raising you in my absence. Gate to the beyond stands open and true!
Rise, prisoners of the Unicorn's Curse! Spectro phantoms from an ancient time! You shall be the first to perish by my newfound strength! Joseph, see my mother somewhere safe. And you, your highness? We end this long-drawn war, here and now. Right. I'll crush Baltro and his sickening sigil myself. Come home, both of you. shall take me. Whatever I can. I understand. We march. War is a brutal mistress. My strength grows by leaps and bounds. Make my mark. Skill? Departing at once. Tis a deficient plan. You'd best make this count. Allow me to aid you.
futile struggle of a rebellion damned. Your end draws near, corn in wealth. Cease these fatuous endeavors and return to nothingness unending. Many times you've tried, Paltro, but you shall never break our spirit. I promise you that. Now prepare to be vanquished by the might of Febrith! One scalp left, and it's the biggest snake of them all. Breathe deep, Baltro. I promise it'll be your last. We'll bury this corpse, Elaine, and make it back to Aunt Elania alive. Farewell. Forward! I fear nothing. I'll cleanse your soul. Finish them. Foolishness! Not finished yet. Don't waste it. Do not resist. Purging the ill humors. I'll dull your senses. Finish them. Vermin. Better heal up. Don't let it happen again. Yeah. I'll protect you. The day of oh. shall take you. My power seeds. No further. Escape, Mama. down your mandate. at hand to me this should be it you face me sorry to disturb you will not fail you'll not break the <sighs> Worm.
Don't waste it. ever closer. Should I reanimate next, I wonder? A monster capable of crushing Fevrith beneath its heel, perhaps? Loathsome scamp! Spirits of Zenoira, hear my call. Your Emperor is no more, and in his place, a tyrannical fiend who craves nothing but absolute control. Tell me, is this what you truly desire? To sacrifice your very essence in service of this demon? Prophetic child. Souls of the departed, if you have any humanity left within you, lend me your aid!
Let us lift the curse of the unicorn and bring the salvation of heaven to these lost souls. Like I could ever say no to that. Ah, there you are. Your coronation is set to commence at any moment. A word first, if I may. With the much-awaited fall of Zenoiran rule, we finally attained our most coveted dream. Twas a vow I made to the ring itself. A promise fashioned out of steel and blood. Yet, can a champion tempered in the flames of war truly lead in times of peace? From the day of its very inception, Your Highness, the Liberation Army has boasted a singular gift. Its ranks bore nobles, sellswords and civilians alike. Disparate nations united as one under a common banner. Your banner. None could ever question the strength of such a leader. He speaks the truth, you know. Should you not be sound in bed right now? And miss the day my son is crowned king? I wouldn't so much as dream of it. Elaine, you stand before me a man full grown. One who will rule these lands with compassion and love. Just as you've done for all those who fought beside you. Be proud, my son. Not only of what you accomplished, but how you've made it so. I will, Mother. Thank you both, from the depths of my heart. Now then, a radiant future for Cornea awaits. Year 906 of the Hollowed Chronicle. Thus, with all of Evereth as his witness, a bold young king ascended the throne. Ere long, the scourge of Galerius and ancient Zenoira would be little more than footnotes on the pages of history. And though scars of war yet blighted the land, its people, awed and inspired by Cornea's noble ruler, began their arduous trek down the path to recovery. Forevermore would the Chronicles of Fevereth extol the Savior Elaine's sacred journey, a legend only embellished in the generations to come. That of a divine beast and a liberator king that bore its name, the Unicorn Overlord.